How's it going? Hope you're having a fantastic Wednesday and welcome back to a brand new I Rate Your Team. For cheap, fast and reliable FIFA 20 Ultimate Team coins, check out u7buy.com and use the code HABER to get yourself 5% off all of your orders. I don't mean to get you all super excited, but I've seen a few leakers on Twitter. Now, if you don't know, there are a few people on Twitter that, that somehow get leaked information from FIFA. Uh, this guy, Dennis Foot Trader, is one of them, and Gofeng Foot Trader, this guy, is another one. Um, I don't understand how they get the information, but they usually bang on. Now, it doesn't mean anything's guaranteed, but he's saying La Liga team of the season on Friday, he is being told by his sources, and Gofeng has also said that he is being told we're going to get a Rafael Varane uh, team of the season, we're going to get a Gerard Moreno, a Diego Carlos, and an Odegaard team of the season. Now, if that's true, I think we're in for some seriously good La Liga Team of the Season cards on Friday. I took the liberty of recreating some cards that we could get based on the leaks and just one I thought I'd throw in there. Anyway, uh, this could be a Rafael Varane Team of the Season card right here. Uh, would be a fantastic card. Mad pace. I think last year he had a Team of the Season as well, or a Team of the Year, I think it might have been last year, where he had incredible pace, defending and physical, and was one of the best centre-backs on the entire game. Um, also, with the Diego Carlos leak... You guys know that Diego Carlos has been really, really good this year, especially his um, Europa League road to the final. A lot of people have used that card in their ultimate teams, and this card would be absolutely incredible to use. Uh, would have fantastic stats again. And then I went with De Jong. Uh, now, I'm, I haven't actually watched La Liga pretty much at all this year, so I don't know who's had a good season or not. I don't know if De Jong has had a good season or not. However, uh, what I will say is if he does get a team of the season card, Based on the Premier League, they actually rated uh, some Team of the Season cards one higher rating than their Team of the Year cards, and some of them on the same rating as their Team of the Year card. Based on that, he could get a one higher rating than his Team of the Year card, and could be in the 90 stat club, like De Bruyne. Would be an unreal card if that was the case. Um, so I'm really excited, and then I thought I'd just bless you with my, uh, my desktop wallpaper. <laughs> Alright, now we're done getting super excited about Friday. Just want to quickly say as well, if I wasn't clear enough earlier, that doesn't mean that La Liga is guaranteed. Uh, it just means that people have it on good authority that La Liga is coming this Friday for team of the season. It could well be a completely different league. And if it is, then we'll see what we get, really. Uh, but we're starting off with Hayden's team, who says 350 to 400,000 coins. I'm guessing that's how many coins you've got uh, to finish slash upgrade the team. Uh, liquid, I'm guessing that's like before rewards and stuff like that. Um, everything is untradeable. We'll take anything on board to finish the team. Also, I've gold two foot jumps rewards coming on Thursday. Okay, so you're getting an extra... 45k from gold too so let's 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 say 420 430k something like that to give you the benefit of the doubt um and this is what you're currently looking at i like the link between soy and and ndd nice Litmanen, in my opinion bro like i think you can get a better player just buying him so what i would say first of all is there is obviously the free ayozi perez card currently in rivals uh or objectives should i say right now um and it's actually pretty easy to complete i actually completed two of the objectives for this card by accident uh, looking at the card, uh, I think it's got, you know, 4-star, four 4-star, four which is nice, good agility and balance, uh, 80 composure, not the world's best, but not horrendous, 93 finishing, fantastic, 82 shot power, not amazing, I'd definitely put a, uh, good chem on that would improve a lot of different stats, I'm not entirely sure about, uh, sniper, maybe finisher, finisher looks like it'd be a fantastic chem style for him, actually, uh, would improve his, uh, his stats massively, um, you can go with him over on the right wing spot, uh, another good cam in the Premier League is Shapeshifter Mares. You can put him over at the right cam spot uh, and then potentially go with Inform Gabriel Jesus up top. That gives Mares a link. That gets an orange link to Casemiro to keep him on eight chemistry. Um, and I think that would be uh, a pretty good end to your team in terms of... of, of making things well-rounded. Uh, you could also go with somebody down on the left-back spot. For example, uh, I see you've got Winter Refresh Burnout on the bench, or his concept card, I mean. So you're considering him. Winter Refresh Burnout, left-back, uh, and then swap Soyuncu with Laporte to get full chemistry and then re-swap them in-game. Um, I think that could be a really, really cool little link there as well to get you full chemistry down that left side. Um, alternatively, uh, given the fact that we are going to be getting SBCs and stuff, you never know. We could get a kind of SBC that would... I don't know, mate, you might, we might get like a, I don't know why we get a Ben Mendy SBC, but you never know. EA might just say, here's a player, moment's Ben Mendy for no reason. So, you know, we've had a couple of left backs from the Prem this year already in terms of SBCs. Knowing EA, they'd probably release another one because they like releasing the same positions for some reason. Fuchs, Marcus Alonso, Kieran Tierney my point proven um so yeah that could be that could be a decent link there as well but uh apart from that yeah um i would say 
Ayosi Perez, Shave Shisha Mares, and Inform um, Gabriel Jesus up top. Very nice team. Uh, I'm guessing these are pack pulled as well. You pack pulled Trent and Soyuncu in the upgrades. I've been grinding the upgrades and I cannot seem to pack a team of the season in the Premier League ones. I've been very lucky outside of the Premier League upgrades. I cannot seem to pack one in the Premier League ones though. I also thought I'd quickly just show, uh, show you guys something as well. Um, something I'm very, very excited about right now is the fact that we got ourselves an SBC Maguire. Right, anyway. Um, next team is coming from Aaron. Who says VVD is untradeable? I play a 4 2 3 1 and a 4 triple 2 in game, and I'm going to sell Nedved and get a Dharma and work to Alonso to go right back and switch him with a Marvi in game. Any improvements? Yeah, I'm not entirely sure. What's a Marvi's weak foot like? I'm pretty sure a Marvi's got bad weak foot. Um, oh no, he's got five star weak foot as well. Okay, I, I forgot that he got the improvement, I guess. Um, foot birthday was a massive improvement to the, the stats. What's. Okay, so three star, three star in Alonso. Yeah, I mean, Amavi right back then, 100%. Um, for some reason, I thought it was the other way around. I thought Amavi had three star weak foot and Alonso had five star. Uh, I feel like Alonso probably had five star a couple of fevers ago, maybe. Um, I like this team. Is there any particular reason why you're selling Nedved? Um, I mean, I personally liked Nedved, to be honest. But I mean, obviously, if you do sell Nedved, there's a few de decent options you go for. How many coins you got? Doesn't say. Mid Nedved is, I want to say, 300k. Might be a bit cheaper than that nowadays, though. Um, what are you currently going for? Yeah, he's about 300k. What's the best version of Lacazette you can afford? This one's about 700k. So it's a little bit outside your budget unless you've got coins left over with this team. Which, if you do, I think Lacazette could be a fantastic uh, cam. Uh, or, you know, you could put a Yosi Perry central cam and Lacazette as a right cam, maybe. Um, alternatively, thinking of Premier League cams here. The reason why I'm going Premier League here is because I'm pretty sure you... you can get away with one one red link to Bakayoko. So in terms of Premier League cams, there is Firmino. Could be a decent shout. Again, Shapeshifter Mares. I'm a big fan of that card. Um, you could try Kovacic at cam. He's definitely got the stats for it, but he would definitely... You'd, you'd probably struggle a little bit because he's got high high uh, and he's quite defensive, so he might come back a lot. But I think he's got decent stats for a, a ball playing cam. Um, who else could you go with here? I'm trying to think of dif different options here. Um, let's go Premier League, let's go Cam, or, yeah, let's go Centimid, CDM, and Cam, and let's go Top 5 Leagues, Premier League, PlayStation, I feel like there's one I'm missing out on. I know you said you want to go with a Dharma, I'm not gonna lie though, I don't, I don't see the point in getting a Dharma over Perez, realistically, I'll be honest with you, I think that, that Perez and a Dharma are pretty similar in terms of ability, I've got that team season of Dharma, and... He's he's very underwhelming. He can do some amazing stuff. Don't get me wrong. He can do some awesome things, but he also can be quite bad in terms of his first touch is pretty bad sometimes. His his overall passing ability sometimes is pretty bad. He doesn't feel like he's got 99 strength in game. He does get caught up a little bit as well. Uh, so I'm not entirely sure he's the best idea is spending two, 300,000 coins on that card um, when realistically... Might not be the, the, the money best spent. Uh, looking at cams though, I mean, De Bruyne would be a really good central cam. I mean, Bruno Fernandes and 8 Chemistry would be a really good central cam as well. Um, they're two very good options straight away. I'm trying to see. I mean, James Madison wouldn't be a bad shout as well. Uh, and then James Madison, you could play at right cam and get the strong link with the Yosi Perez. Um, although actually that wouldn't make a difference, would it? No, because of Mbappe. Uh, never mind. Uh, I'm just seeing if there's anyone I'm missing out on. There's been so many promos this year that I, I forget about cards all the time. Human Son's another good shout as well. Um, on 8 Chemistry as well, of course. Uh, wouldn't be the world's worst shout. It's a shame that a lot of these SBC cards you can't go and get again. Um, the rest of the team is really nice, though. I like, you know, maybe upgrading uh, Trent within time is a good shout as well. The reason why I'm not saying upgrade Trent straight away is because... With Premier League rewards, you might get a Trent, you know, and I know you said you wanted to do Marcus Alonso as well, um, but you might get a team of the season Trent as well. So if you're going to do Marcus Alonso, wait for rewards at least, and also wait to sell Nedved because you might get an Adama. Um, anyway, the next one coming from your local, I feel like I spent way too much time talking about that. Um, the next one coming from your local Indian. What a name. He says, I have about 350k. The tradables are Courtois, uh, Lodi, Neymar, and Cliver. I play a 4 triple 2 in game with Neymar and Cliver as striker. Ramos at CDM. Oh, interesting. Okay. Just bought Cliver and I'm willing to sell. Thank you and keep up the good content. You're willing to sell him straight away? That 
gives me a, gives me the idea that he's probably not that great. <laughs> um, interesting. I, I mean, I like the I like the PK pool there. It's pretty decent. Ramos's CDM. He probably would play incredibly there. Actually, I that Ramos card. I I got him this weekend uh, to play in my weekend league team at centre back. Let me just tell you guys, and, and I mean this 100. I'm gonna go full face cam here just to just to really make this intimate and make this make you guys understand. This Ramos card here, this one that I'm talking about right here, the best centre back I have used this year. And I've tried the Purple Apara. I've tried Moments Cannavaro, who's a very close second. I've tried pretty much every like on centre back. I've tried Team of the Years. I've tried Team of the Year Van Dyke. This card is unbelievable. If you guys have this card, which I know a lot of you guys do because I, I rate your teams often, it's insane. It's absolutely insane. Um, I like the layout of this team though. I like it a lot. Let me double check how many coins. You've got 350k. The only weak link, and it's a very, very slight weak link, if that, if that at all, is, in my opinion, that Politano. Now, if you're going to sell Clivert, let me see how much Clivert is, because I have an idea in my head about what you can do here. I have a good idea. How much is it? Oof, only 540. Wow, I thought it was more than that. Okay, well, that's my idea completely out the window. Uh, we're going to have a look at, at right mids because you can go with literally anyone here if you get a, if the, if you get the right, right icon. So let's say you've got, what, 540, take off tax, about 510, 515, plus 350. Let's say you've got about 830-ish K. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say 415 is your, is your budget per position because they're both pretty... Okay, that was min price. Uh... Okay, four. I would say 420. 420, why not? We'll go 420 uh, for right-sided players. I mean, first things first, this Mohamed Salah, apart from his weak foot, is very good. Eduardo Salvio is not bad. Um, a little bit inconsistent at times, so maybe maybe stay clear, actually. Uh, if you don't mind having a three-star weak foot player, I mean, Salah's not bad at all. Uh, who else is there in terms of options? Um... Jaden Sancho, if you're looking for a five-star skiller, is not a bad shout either. And depending on who you go with, you can work a different icon in there to help you get chemistry as well. Um, now, you might have eight chemistry at best on your right wing, or if you get one that can get strongly to an icon, you might get 10 chemistry. Uh, it just depends on who you go with, I think. You know, if you go with the likes of a, a Mohamed Salah, you're only getting eight chemistry to him. But if you go with the likes of uh, Jane Sancho, you've got a good chance of getting 10 chem because you go with the English icon as well. Um, but I would say if you are going to sell Cliver, then then replace your right wing as well with with a, a decent shout. Whichever one you think fits your play style most. Um, that's the only thing that I would say with 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 doing these series or doing the series size and do the, do these, doing these episodes is that... Um, I don't know your play styles. A lot of you guys have different play styles. One thing that I did notice this weekend is people are using taller, um, more clunkier players a lot more. For example, people like Mario Cardi, who you might say has good agility and balance, yes, but when a player is six foot, six foot one, six foot two, who I'm pretty sure Cardi is, um, you notice that they turn a little bit harder. I played against someone with uh, the, I played like a few people with the moment, Socrates, uh, loan card as well, that seems to be doing really well with them. Anyway, the next one coming from Foot Trader, who says, Hi, Ryan. Love the videos. Thank you very much, bro. I appreciate it, dude. Uh, I got 1.2 million coins and everything is untradeable. In-game, a 4-4-2 left mid Rodrigo, centre mid Perlo, and Coleman right mid? Littman and striker? Oh, sorry. Centre mid Perlo and Coleman, right mid Littman striker is Ronaldo and Dalglish. Even still, Littman and right mid? How, many, how much pace has Littman got? He's got like, what, 86? 85? 85. Yeah, I thought you had 85. Um, not entirely sure about Lippmann as a right mid here. I'm not going to lie to you, bro. Um, how many coins do you have? You've got 1.2 million coins. You need a central player here. I mean, you could just play someone off chem. You could play an icon off chemistry, for example, and that wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. In fact, to be honest, 1.2 mil. I mean, you have headliners. You can't see. You have headliner Dharma on the uh, on the reserves. I think would play better at right mid than Lippmann personally. Um... That's just, that's just, in my opinion, though. Uh, I think that you want better, in terms of pace and skill moves, I think is more important going down the right and left wing than uh, dribbling and, and passing and shooting, personally. But, I mean, that's just my personal opinion. In terms of, of team of the season, Adama, if you can get him for about 210, 220, probably decent value. I think for 300k, it's a little bit too overpriced. Uh, but 210, 220 is not bad. Um, he plays right mid for me, and he's pretty average. But he does, like I said earlier... Sometimes he does amazing things. Sometimes he has an amazing shot. He does some amazing skill moves. He does a, a lot of good passes. Uh, so that could be a decent shout. 
Apart from that, I really don't see anything else you can improve realistically at this point. I mean, maybe improving Perlo for a Balak or a Matthias. Um, maybe, maybe you improve Rodrigo for literally anybody that you want at that point. But I mean, you've done the Rodrigo SBC, so what's the point in, uh, in upgrading it? That's why I think, I think, I think Littman and Perlo are your weak links in this team. Perlo, I'd go for like a Balak or a Matthias. And then uh, Littman, I'd either put your headliner diamond that you've already got. Or just go with an icon. Go with like a... I'm trying to think of a really fast... I mean, an Henri, like a left wing Henri wouldn't be too bad. Um, play him at left mid, get seven chemistry, wouldn't be too shabby. Um, you could play a Stoichkov. Um, I'm trying to think of other pacey strikers here or centre mids you can go with icon-wise. That would work. Who else would work in terms of that position icon-wise? I know you guys are probably shouting at me right now. I mean, if you're not bothered about three-star skill moves, maybe Michael Owen or Lineker wouldn't be too bad either um but yeah that's that's just my opinion uh the rest of the team is great though prime Cannavaro, loving it uh next team coming from bobby who says this is my team the second is in game i've got 330k all of the team and the bench is untradeable and i got rushed from the mid icon pack i want to cry love the vids keep the good work no dude i'm sorry man i'm sorry to hear it bro um i mean you got red ben Yedder, though that's decent you know you've still got a decent team regardless of ian rush this team is good. This team is is well built and it is, you know, it's well it's well made. You know, I, I respect it. I think it's a very good team. To be honest, I don't see massive room for improvement in this team, to be fair. I like realistically, I don't see much you can do to make this team a whole lot better at this current point in time. The only thing I'm thinking is and I mean it's 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 very nitpick, but if you want to get full chem to Alaba, get yourself a Neuer in goal. But I mean you know, what's the point realistically? Is there any point? Probably not. Um, but yeah, the rest of the team is really good in my opinion. You can work to improve the Lamar over here on this left side. Maybe you go with a, a Neymar. Uh, I'm pretty sure Neymar's actually dropped quite a lot in price now. Uh, I saw Mbappé is at 330k earlier today. So Neymar might be pretty similar in terms of price. He's at 498. So you could go with that. You could get Mbappé over, over Dembele if you really wanted to. But again, is there any point replacing an 89 rated team of the season with Mbappe at this point when you could just wait and maybe get something good from a team of the season pack or rewards or something? I don't know. Probably not. Um, so yeah, I would say I love you. I love your team name, by the way. Skip replays. Make sure you guys skip replays 100%. Uh, I'd go Neymar left, left mid uh, when you can afford him and then maybe save it for an Mbappe, but I don't see the massive point really when you got Dembele, um, especially at this point. If you had like a million coins, I'd say get Mbappe, but right now I'd say just wait. Um, next one coming from James Adamson, who says, here's the team. Only Ben Yedder is tradable. I have 200,000 coins in the bank and I need a new left wing to play left cam in game. Untradables are the three on the bench, along with Screen Pyatt, Headliner Alberto, uh, Flashback Munayin, Storyline Carrasco in 84 Phillips, uh, Keep it the Streams and Vids. Hey, thanks, James. Appreciate it, dude. Okay, let's check it out. Um, you need a left wing here that can play left cam in game. Either French or from... The Ligue 1. I mean, you could go with Foot Birthday Lamar, like the, the other lad had. Um, this card is actually pretty good. I think he got a five-star weak foot upgrade. And a, a yeah, he got, a, uh, I think, a five-star yeah five -star weak foot upgrade from two-star. Um, has really good pace, good agility balance. His finishing's not amazing. Decent composure, good stamina. Uh, could do with probably either um, a sniper chem style, which would improve him to uh, 97 finishing in game. And his agility and balance would be in the very high 90s and, and most of his dribbling stats. Or you could put something like a Hawk on him as well. That would also improve his stats pretty well as well. He'd make him a bit more physical. Um, regardless, I think that would be a really good shout over there at that left wing spot, to be fair. Um, I like the rest of the team, though. The rest of the team is very nice. Something you could do, something you could you could, you could could do it with this team at some point is, this is going to be a little bit of a, uh, what's the word? I'm not entirely sure what the word is, but I see you have Kent over here on the bench. When you get to level 15, you could put Ben Yedder where uh, Oshman is and... Ben Yedder would then take Oshman's place, get Haji from the objectives, from level 15 objectives, and then get yourself Ryan Kent at left wing. Now, it does mean that Haji will be playing off chemistry. He'll be on A chemistry along with Grimaldo. Uh, but Ryan Kent will be on full chem, and it allows you to have the sweatmeister himself, Ryan Kent, in the starting 11. I mean, it's your choice. It's your call, but it could be a decent shout. It could work. It could work pretty well. Um... But yeah, that's just something to that's just something to to think about. Um, you never know; could work out pretty well. Uh, I thought I I thought I'd I, I'd 
you know, sprinkle that one in there, give you give you the uh, the idea and uh, see where it leads. And I do apologise to all of your um, future foot champions opponents if you do choose to go with that. I apologise from the bottom of my heart. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to spread more Ryan Kent in the weekend league. We all know what that man can do and what he has done to people this year. <sighs> it's scary. Um, next one's coming from uh, Joshua Hill, who says, Hey, it's Haber. This is my team. All in trade set for Mane and have 450,000 coins for upgrades. Gold two rewards on Thursday. I swap Ramos and Pereira in game. I need a striker before the weekend league. Uh, love the vids. Keep the good content. Hey, I appreciate it, man. Thank you very much for the support, dude. All right, check it out. So you need a striker before weekend league. You have 450,000 coins and it's all untradeable. Interesting. Um... What I mean, it's a nice and tradable team, to be fair. You've done well in red picks, in my opinion. Um, how is that Jimenez? I thought that with his balance, he would be a problem, personally. Haven't used him, so I, I, you know, I can't claim to have used him. But I thought that with his balance, he'd be a bit of a problem. It's like 54. Um, I thought that he'd be a little bit clunky, just for my personal preference. But I mean, if you're enjoying him, then that's fair play. There's a lot of cards this year that I've been like, ooh. Not entirely sure. I think that car will be fantastic. They turn out to be incredible. So that's what that's why I thought I'd ask. Now, in terms of strikers you could go with, I mean, first things first, you could you could opt for a Hyungman Son. Although one thing I would say is maybe having two very similar players like this wouldn't work. Um, you could go with the 89 Hyungman Son, but I think two taller players up top might be a bit of a problem. So maybe looking for a smaller, more nimble player would be the play here. Um, the likes of... Oof, I mean... I'm pretty sure you... Can you afford Mohamed Salah? Can you afford his striker card? Um, I'm pretty sure you're pretty close to it, if I'm not mistaken. Striker, striker Salah. Ooh, you need about 90k. 90 to 95k. If you can make that in rewards, that might be a good shout. Now, that is a good shout as well. We do have rewards coming. Um, so it might be worth holding on until rewards. If you can't do that, I mean, uh, Anthony Marshall wouldn't be a de would be a decent shout as well. I used this card against Jack in the 7 minute squads and absolutely tore him apart. It was incredible to use. His finesse shots are insane. He feels great on the ball. Very fast, very nimble. Uh, very good on the ball, in my opinion. Uh, could be also a decent shout. Um, there's a few decent shouts. There's a few decent options. Um, and depending on rewards as well, I'd wait for rewards on Thursday. It's just one more day. It's just tomorrow. I'd wait for rewards tomorrow and see where it leads. And then maybe get yourself someone in rewards. And if you don't, then obviously you're going for... Uh, you're going for... Um, one of the shouts are giving you. Now, one other thing that you could do. Now, this one is going to be a little bit of a... This one's going to be a little bit sweaty, right? But you could pick yourself up Giovinco on Thursday and play him on 8 chemistry. The only problem is, is that Mane will also be on 8 chemistry. So you're sacrificing Kem on Mane to get Kem on Giovinco. But you could do that. Play him on 8 chemistry because of the icon link. You can have one orange link and two red links. And this card looks unreal. I don't know if you guys have seen this card yet, but... 94 pace, 97, excuse me, 97 acceleration and 90 sprint speed. Looks insane. 91 finishing, 99 agility, 99 balance, 93 reactions, 96 ball control, 96 dribbling, 92 composure, 91 stamina, 91 aggression, 97 positioning. 94, like this card looks ridiculous. If I get the choice of this card, like in reds, and I have a choice of, I don't know, like a red. Who's, who's a shout? I don't know. Like, um. If I get the choice between this and like a, I don't know, a red Trent or a red Robbo or something like that, I might choose this card. There's going to be a few options in the Premier League team of the seasons where I'm, I would heavily debate taking Giovinco over them. Uh, so yeah, it's going to be a weird one. It's going to be a weird one for sure. But mate, it's a, it's a sick card and it could work pretty well on a chemistry in the team. You might even find yourself picking up a different left mid. To, to get full chemistry maybe you go i don't know i don't know what route you go down to get full chemistry here but you might you might do that you know you might really enjoy Divinco. uh we're gonna call these two the last two teams of the episode it's gonna be from layton who says hi hey but the whole team is untradeable i now have 90 to hey in net and i play a 4 2 3 one in game uh i have about 700k at the minute keep the good works i appreciate it, dude it says keep up the good vids but i always say keep up the good work because that's what i always feel like people are saying because i'm stupid uh, well, thank you very much, man. I appreciate it, dude. Uh, looking at this team, I'm guessing you're playing... Um, I'm guessing you're playing Desai at centre-back. <laughs> Obviously. I mean, that's that's the most logical solution here. Um, this team is nice. This team is very nice. Is there any point with the Hayer in net, though? I get it. You've just done the SBC. But to get the Hayer 
in there, you, I mean, you're playing Boateng off cam, and I don't think there's a point. I've heard very good things about Galaxy. If you've not used Galaxy yet, give him a go, because I've heard very good things about him. Realistically, I don't think I'd change a whole lot about this team. 700k to spend. Like, I don't think there's many left mids better. You might you might find yourself in rewards getting a Rashford or getting a Mane or getting a, a Son. That would improve the left mid spot. But apart from that, there's probably not a whole lot of amazing options. Um, you might get yourself uh, VVD and obviously then De Gea in there and it changes everything. Um, but apart from that, I mean, I, ca I can't see a whole lot of places where I'd say you'll do a massive upgrade. I would say hold on to the coins. Wait for the Liga team of the season if it's next. And we might see something like a team of season tomato or something. And if we do, then get him at right back. Um, apart from that, just sort of hold on to your coins and wait to see what we get, to be honest. Because um, you never know, we could get some incredible stuff. And then last but not least for the episode, it's going to be Kieran. It says, I've got 250k for upgrades. And my untradables are Hullet, Felipe, Hullet, wow. Okay. Felipe Anderson, Saw, Ndidi, Griezmann, Politano, Del Piero, and my bench is also untradable. The second is how I play in game. Thank you for any help. Keep it the good work. Hey, appreciate it, dude. Thank you very much, man. That's why I always that's why I always read keep it the good work, because I feel like that's what it, it always says anyway. Um, so you're rocking 250k for the team right now. That is an amazing defense. That defense looks incredible. I mean, Kamara and Saar are insane in defense. They are so hard to get past. First things first, I would get Shapeshifter Ricardo Pereira if you could afford him. Um, I don't know how much he is, actually. How much is this card? 250, mate, literally. I'd get I'd get Shapeshifter Ricardo Pereira uh, and get the full cam and the upgrade on that card. And then I wouldn't change a thing. I, and the same thing for you. Rewards, guaranteed team of the season packs, all the good stuff, see what you get, see what happens, and see if you can improve the team that way. Um, but apart from that, I mean, this team looks pretty much endgame. You've got two of the best centimeters in the entire game playing CDM. You've got a phenomenal backline, apart from obviously Samada could do with upgrading, but that will come with Premier League, uh, sorry, the League of Tots, I think. Um, your your strike force looks incredible, and your, like, your cams and stuff. Um, so yeah, I really wouldn't change much else, to be honest. It's a very end game team. But that's it for the episode. If you guys have enjoyed, please leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel for you guys in the around here. I just want to quickly address one thing before we end this episode. Uh, recently, I've noticed that um, not all the time are we seeing a lot of positivity being spread. Uh, this is something I don't usually do, but I'm noticing that on Twitter, on other social media platforms, um, there seems to be a lot of negativity being spread. Now, I don't know if that's because of the situation right now and because of people being stuck indoors and stuff but if you see someone having a bad day or you see someone maybe not in a good mood or even if you see someone in a good mood and they're having a good day just say something nice as opposed to saying something nasty i think that you know just <laughs> trying to be a little bit nicer might might make people feel a bit better about the day i don't know it's kind of silly maybe it's there's no point there's no place for that but i mean just today i saw a lot of really horrible toxic comments both on on my uh, channel today um someone made fun of me on footbin today um i had a lot of horrible people in twitter and stuff like that i i'm personally just trying to make good videos and entertain people i'm sorry if you guys don't agree with what i say about fifa and if if you guys disagree with the upgrades i recommend but i'm not the best fifa player and sometimes my my you know i can be a little bit silly my brain just says things that i don't really mean um when i'm talking about different plays and stuff so i do apologize if that offends or annoys you um let's just see if we can spread a little bit more positivity uh, i think that can make people's day a little bit better anyway thank you for watching guys i'll see you later